So we have two and three and four life, right? <laughs> so this round here is for when we are with the decorator hat. We decided that we are going to stop and see what Bimbi has to offer this morning. Yeah. So we're on our way. We're in four parts right now. Today is the last day of the show too. Uh -huh. Supposed to be the best day. Supposed I think. To. Supposed to be. Maybe not because maybe nothing is done. We are almost there. Let me show you guys where we are. Where you calling yourself now? No, it's not more no where the place yeah, is. Tell us me, you know. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you know where this is. I know that we are in four parts. Four right. Parts, and we, and we are in close to so where the place is. Yeah, top four parts and bottom four parts. Yeah, but we are going with um a few of our family members and friends. Hopefully we have a good day. Normally it rains. Every year at Denby, I don't know if that still happens. We haven't been in a long time. I used to go every year. My mother and my adopted big brother. <laughs> but we haven't been in a long time. And with COVID, the past two years, it has been out. Oh, they are coming to me So. Oh boy. Oh boy. So. So we haven't been there. So I'm hoping to. You know, have some fun today. So while we are there, we'll show you guys around the, the place, the pavilions, and you know what's happening. We might have to do a lot of voiceover because music, noise, and stuff. But we'll see what happens. So when we get there, we'll show you around. Okay. So the Westmoreland Pavilion was our first stop and it made a good impression. It was well decorated. We loved the product options that they offered, especially the sweet potato biscuits. You can pause the screen to look at the recipe. And also they had a lot of flour alternatives for persons who have gluten allergies. And guys, we saw this thing that was very interesting. Dried banana fruit snacks. I've never seen this before. So they had a display of um, the dryer that they used to dehydrate the bananas to make this fruit snack. I wish that they had something live that we could see how it was done. It was pretty interesting. Alright guys, so we just went to Westmoreland and now we're going to Kingston and St. Andrew. Uptown. Are they, are they, are they uptown style? Yes, we just see my foot already? Or we just yeah. start well? Put them dirty so. already, <laughs> though. No, can't give me. My foot cheese is in the my one. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we have some coffee production here. So here you know you plant your coffee. For those who don't know how coffee goes and you just know about Starbucks, so you plant your coffee tree and you have the coffee beans here. Alright? 
and then these same things they blossom into these. And they're right. And they're no, right. No. Pick it. These are there. And then you can just break them apart like that. See? Look. Yes. And then you have the dried parchment. Kind of looks like peanut, but not peanut. And then you have the coffee green beans. And of course, what you guys are used to, we have the roasted, roasted. beans. It smells good. Mm, it smells so good. It remind me of um, like growing up. Yeah. It smells so good. Coffee. And then of course you have the roasted ground coffee. ground coffee. This is what you percolate and you get your nice coffee. From Blue Mountain. Right? Yeah, goody goody grow uptown, you know. Yeah, goody says she had roasted coffee no, beans growing no, up. No, it's, it's not uptown, just come from country. On display, too, was the vetiva grass, which they showed us how they use it to prevent soil erosion. And you can use the byproducts to make bags, baskets, mats. Hydroponic systems were also popular at most pavilions. As expected with Chilani, there was yam on display, but what, what, what we don't love to expect from some of these booths like Chilani is like some yam products, you know, yeah. like some mm -hmm. yam punch and stuff yam like that. Cake. Yeah, I think Pretty that would be nice. Yam. But it was interesting though to see the yams and the vines, you know, normal yams and stick. So that was interesting with Chilani. So now we're in Saint Thomas. So what does Saint Thomas have to offer? So dark, I can't, so This fun because it is, it is super hot. So when you come to the sign of the sign, yeah, yeah, yeah they sign no. When you come to them, be right, there are pavilions. So each pavilion represents a parish. So for the 14 parishes, you have a pavilion, and each pavilion is decorated. Um, based on what the, the, the parish the is known for offer, and right, the best products. one wins a prize. So it's like we're walking out all of Jamaica <laughs> in one day. So, so yeah. far Westmoreland Look like Westmoreland looks the nicest so, so far, far yeah. in terms of how it is decorated and, and the, the features that are there. Yeah, the features there. that are there. But everyone has a, you know, yeah. everyone has something that is interesting. So we're going to move on from here all because right. it's going to take the whole day. But the most interesting thing about the hypro boot was this misting water feature for it was for the plants but everybody was beneath everybody was underneath it because yeah. it was just so, so hot. hot best dress had a whole kitchen set up with jackie tyson cooking some one pot meals we got a few samples and they were all good You know where about that? So we ran into cannabis with the cannabis wine and True Shake was giving out free samples guys. Yes, free samples and of course we take some. Yeah, so we went there for the samples and guess what? We became the host of boy and girl. <laughs> <laughs> One of the highlights for the St. Mary Pavilion was the Jet Town products. It's from a small rural community called Jeffrey Town in St. Mary and they help to provide jobs for rural women. They also have a breakfast program which helps to feed many children in St. Mary. So you know we definitely have to support Jet Town so we bought some breakfast flour and so forth from them. Yeah, they also had a lot of unique fruits and vegetables on display and thank God for this fan. I was having this fan, it has water in it guys. Then we had the ugliest clown. <laughs> I want you guys to count with me as we go through the vlogs. Ugly clown number one. Work is almost over, 
So let's talk about St. Anne's. Our parish! St. Anne Pavilion. I was disappointed. Very disappointed. St. Anne is a garden parish and all they had to show us was really bauxite mining, which I know is a big part of the parish, but my God. Yeah, what about the garden things, you know, the fruit, you know? I mean, one thing interesting that I found out though, that's an amal here, my friends and St. Thomas telling me about like mommy apples and things, and I thought it was just native to like St. Thomas and Portland, but I found out that it was native to St. Anne as well, hence Mami Bay. Yeah, so that was interesting, but apart Outside from that, of that, yeah, and these ugly cockroach and rats, so I don't know what that's, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Now we are in Portland, and I mean, for one of the most beautiful parishes, it wasn't given. The wasn't. pavilion was not given. Juice at the ginger extra put on the side, man. Can't take the ginger. Look how we have the bottom of ginger already. I'm gonna dance tonight. I'm gonna make it. Show me that, show me that, show me that. Show one. Boy, at this point, the boot started, you know, diminishing. Yeah, guys. Like, there wasn't much. There wasn't much to see here. You know, it was mostly like turmeric and onions. <laughs> <laughs> it was turmeric and onions. I don't know. I'm out of here. Now, St. James, I'm gonna get it right. So yes. St. James was nice. Primarily because they did have AC. AC. <laughs> AC. It was such a big plus. And they had a lot of products there. This is what we are talking about, like food products or something. Alright, so this is Dashin cookie for diabetics, they say. <laughs> Diabetic! Water cacao. Water cacao. You water cacao? So, uh, dashing rock cake, rock like, like rock bun. No, you didn't say anything to you, you're going to you. <laughs> Run that, up. that is what happened to us. So, we got carried away with these dashing rock cakes, and boy, we had a piece of allergic reaction. Short start, lock up, and start to catch. It was, it was bad. Mm. It tastes good? Let me taste it. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. Now, when it tastes good. Dread in the sun, dread in the sun, dread in the sun. Climb down boat, not much to write home about. Yeah, there wasn't much there. Yeah, they had this nice little fish tank though, but the fish did not look excited to be at them be at all. Started to pick up at the St. Elizabeth Pavilion. I mean, look at this vegetable display. All the details of the coat of arms were on point. They didn't have any scallions or any melon, but they had pineapples and this huge cassava. They also had these old time artifacts, you know, old time scenting. So, guys, do you know Shampata? You can comment below if you know Shampata. So, Shampata is a slippers. That is made out of rubber and card, right? So, yeah, specifically, uh, like car tire rubber. Car tire rubber. So, I get goody to Shampata. I start, no. I start by budget. Can you see them looking money they want to put up on the screen? That can't buy budget, you know. So.
St. Elizabeth for the win with the creativity. So here we have a peanut picker and this is made guys out of a bicycle rim um, attached to a weed whacker to pick the peanuts. If you try to come closer, I'm gonna give you some closure before you know it, it's over. So run away, run away. Now we don't know Manchester to be a you know, yeah, a party parish, but boy, this boot was popping with just just take it in yourself. Disco life, all the bees, all the bees, they dance. It was, it was, it was weird, but nice. I'm gonna tell you what I do run away, run away. Of the call number two, stand it, my ground. So if you're gonna find me for my heart, yeah, yeah, yeah. This right, you deserve the win. Who oh, can give me the son of our ants? Don't you? Booth was one of our favorite booths. They had advanced technology in farming, they featured so many amazing Jamaican products. Of course, we had to get that pancake guava syrup. They also had some excellent sweet potato food options potato pasta, and also an excellent potato punch. Yes, that punch was so good. This is good. We decided to take a break. Let me talk low because where we are is a lot of noise. So we in the rod ahead of the food, trying to sit down because look, you know see they put them dirt. Me and Joel, Joel sit down here so. Tired. So we're tired because it's a whole if I walk in up and down. Only if I walk in up and down. We take a break, we recuperate, get some AC. And we're gonna drink some water. We just have some sweet potato punch. The sweet potato punch, the sweet potato punch was very good, don't it? It was excellent. Yeah, the sweet potato punch was very good. And they had a banana, a banana nut bread. The banana nut bread was, that was good also. So, we just gonna try, catch a break. Before we start walking up and down again. So the drones that you would have seen earlier um, very interesting. I didn't know that we had that kind of technology for farming in Jamaica. So they were showing us how you can use drones to do basically like that we call it geo mapping. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see what is happening with your plants even before you see it with your naked eye. So if something is wrong, the camera on the drone can pick it up. And then they have another big one that they use to spray. They use to spray the crop, so you don't usually. Yeah, um, yeah. So usually you spray the whole field, but with this kind of technology, you can just select the specific area that is affected and spray only there. So you reduce the in insecticide use and that kind of thing. So that was interesting. So we catch up back with you when we go somewhere else. We don't nice. So of course you couldn't visit them without looking at the livestock. And at the livestock we had goats, sheep, Cows, like, like look at this cow, like 2,196 pounds, like that is a lot of burgers. <laughs> That's a lot of burgers. But I mean, the animals look nice and healthy, but this tench, Ooh. It was farming. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was rough. It was rough, you know, like. 
And of course, over this side, if you're not walking the pavilions, there's a whole kiddies village. And that's where the majority of the clones were. And there's this last one, ugly clown number five. Yes, why? Couldn't let us leave them in peace. Jamaicans are real sample. You know, eh? <laughs> what is that far without a cowboy? Eh? Walk at Texas. In an element. Hello, guys. Hi. So, Dembi Road Show is done. Yeah. It was a fun time. Tired though. <laughs> We've been at this thing from about maybe 10 30. I think we got in there about 10 30. And it is now, what time is it? It is now 6 51, 51 p.m. Yeah. And we have been on our feet all day. I'm That's, tired. Yeah. It was exhausted. Exhausted. But it was fun. So, mm, yeah. it, was fun. it was fun. Something different. We just needed to have had some things like. <clears throat> right? Some cheers. So we got some things right. Some comfortable <laughs> shoes. We got the comfortable shoes right. Definitely. Um, I can't see how I would do this in like a, reg a, a regular sneaker. Sandals? Uh, like, a definite no. Or like Bridget sandals. Oh like, no. I saw some girls in Bridget sandals. And I thought that was yeah. kind of crazy. I used to wear sandals on those stuff, but mm -mm. yeah, don't try to look cute. Right now, my foot look like me that plant yam up on them beans. Yeah, don't wear no clocks and perries and that kind of stuff. <laughs> wear something else, like cracks with the foam. If, I mean, at least if you plan to stay there as long as we stay. And you need a fan. Yeah, you, you need a know. portable fan, a little fan. That would the help. one that you put around your neck, a little one that you can have in your hand. You need a fan. It would help, it would help, because it was super hot. And on that note, as you realize, we didn't eat nothing. We ate nothing. We was pretty much just drinking water, drinking water. At least you say, at least I can say we stay hydrated. But you know, just taking samples and so forth. So we didn't eat anything. You know? What they need to do for future? Set up like a food court. Yeah, they need to set up a food court area. That they yeah, can like sit and eat. Lane. They didn't really have a yeah, somewhere a like that. They had places to buy food, but. Yeah. And then probably should centralize the food. I don't remember seeing the food looking very central. Mm -mm. Yeah. You need some break areas, some places you can yeah. just sit and you know take some of the pressure off your foot. There's literally nowhere to sit unless you're going to just sit on the ground. Overall, it was a good experience. Good experience. We enjoyed it. With our friends and family. Yeah, and so definitely would go back again. Yep, so we're gonna hit the road. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share. Subscribe. So until then, love God, love God, millennium lifestyle.